a personal note, my, my first cousin Christine passed away this week from Alzheimer's, and it was a long struggle for her. But can you also speak to, I mean, like her husband and the caregivers and all the people that are affected by someone who has Alzheimer's? Yeah, absolutely. This is this is a very difficult time, and I'm so sorry for your loss. Um, yeah, I think because there's so much disruption going on for for people, especially when it comes to daily routine. You know, we are trying really hard to help with that um, through our through our virtual community classes that we have on our Facebook page, as well as our toll free helpline mm -hmm. nationwide. Next question for Jennifer uh, coming in via text. I take care of my dad who has Alzheimer's. How can I help him adjust to changes in our routine? And this is a big thing, I guess, right now with people uh, who are at home and not usually at home, or maybe dad can't go to the places he's accustomed to seeing. Yes, absolutely. So we, we get a lot of those uh, inquiries, those questions on what to do. Um, and you always want to be able to maintain a schedule. If your loved one is used to getting up at a certain time, eating, going to bed at a certain time, you want to maintain that schedule as long as you can. And it's great to also create a visual schedule as well that you can refer back to throughout the day. You can have different visual cues such as stickers and photographs just to help the individual understand what's coming next mm -hmm. in their life. And also to help them keep connected to the people that they love. Yeah, you, so, mentioned, you mentioned connectivity, and that plays into our next question for you. How can I help my mom combat isolation? She's used to seeing my siblings more often. It's really starting to affect her because um, most people with Alzheimer's primarily are older, and they have to really shelter in place. Yes, it's so important. So, you know, we, we always recommend FaceTiming. That's always a really great way to be able to continue seeing the person that you love if you're able to do that. And there are resources out there that teach people how to use this type of technology. Um, but also you can create different care packages. You can send photographs or videos to one another, maybe have a different theme for the day, such as hats or different kinds of costumes. Um, different ways you can really keep up the fun and the joy of being able to maintain connection with one another. Right. Okay, next one coming in, uh, and I mentioned this kind of off the top, uh, for Alzheimer's patients, what about caregivers? What kind of help is available for them? Yes, that's so important because caregivers do tend to forget to care for themselves. Uh, our helpline is a huge resource for our caregivers. Uh, as I mentioned, it is toll-free and it's nationwide, and we have licensed social workers who are there to help guide people through the difficult times that they're having, provide resources, and also simply to listen. But it's also important too that the caregivers maintain their own support network too. And to find times throughout the day to be able to just relax for a moment, breathe, and you know, get back in tune with yourself, because that's you're only going to be a better caregiver if you care for yourself. Right. Next one coming in. Dad has Alzheimer's. I don't want to stress him out, but I do have to explain why there are so many changes of late. Uh, how much should I spare him details? Is there a best way to let him know what's going on? That's a really good question. And, you know, I would say that it's a very individual it's, it's a person by person. Uh, you know, your you know, your loved person. The best. So if you feel that they're able to manage the type of information about this pandemic that's going on that you can share with them but if you feel that it's too much then you can really just on how to teach them to stay safe and healthy mm -hmm. by wearing a mask when they go outside washing their hands when they need to wash their hands such as when they are outside keeping surfaces clean so if you just need to teach them the basics that's okay too like it. Jennifer, thank you so much. Jennifer Reeder with Alzheimer's Foundation of America. Thank you for